Shalom, most high, Christ bless. Officer DeWater, IUIC Mobile. To my right, I have Officer, Officer Jeremiah. I'll pray to the most high. This is the addition of IUIC Mobile, ask your pastor. You're just going to be quick, like, points to, uh, so you can learn that you can gather your information, your scriptures, and ask your pastor. So now what we're going over today is, did we keep the Sabbath day? Did Christ keep the Sabbath day? And after Christ's death, did we continue to keep the Sabbath day? Because we want you to ask your pastor why you don't keep the Sabbath day. So now let's run through it real quick because we know everybody's time is short. So we're going to make this short so you ain't got no excuse. So now first scripture we're going to run to is Luke 4 and 16. Yes, sir. This is the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, this is Jesus Christ, as his custom was, meaning as what he normally do on, on a daily, not a daily basis, but what he normally do, right? Come on. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He did what? Went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So this is Jesus Christ. He went into the synagogue on the what day? The Sabbath day. Which is Saturday, the seventh day, right? That's it. And stood up, to, and stood up for to read. Now, I stood up and read. Now, let's go to the next one. Give me what, Luke uh, 13. Yes, sir. Luke 13 and verse 10. We're going to run through this real quick. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues. This is Christ. We still on the Messiah. Come on. On the Sabbath. Is it? God, right, so that's Christ again. He was teaching on the what? On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath day. Now, ask your pastor. Why don't you keep the Sabbath day? Because Christ kept the Sabbath day. And you say you are a follower of Christ, right. but you don't follow the Sabbath day? Go ask your pastor. We're giving you the ammo to bring to your pastor. Now, give me where I'm going. Um, Acts 13. Acts 13 and verse 15. Yes, sir. This is the book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 14. And when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch and Pisidia and went into the synagogue. On the Sabbath day. There we go. On the Sabbath day. Come on. And sat down. And after the reading of the law. Wait a minute. What they did? And after the reading of the law. Now, we went around here for a reason because this is after Christ's death. This is Paul time. Paul is picking up what Christ left out and to continue to spread this gospel on how we're supposed to live. Right? So now, Paul is keeping the Sabbath day along with all the other Israelites. So now, like I said, ask your pastor. Why don't you keep the Sabbath day? We reading the scriptures and don't let him just give you no, oh, blah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't, we don't want to hear no blah, blah. Tell him to show you the scriptures on why you don't have to keep the Sabbath day or why they didn't keep the Sabbath day as being a Christian or uh, being a follower of Christ. Show, show them scriptures. It ain't now. So now, let's go on to what? And then it said reading the law. The laws. They go into the dietary laws, the civil laws, you know what I'm saying, the moral laws. And how we supposed to treat each other and keeping these feast days. So that go that's another breakdown. But right now we're on the Sabbath. Now what we at Acts uh, what? 13 and 44. 13 and 44. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 44. And the next Sabbath day. Oh, wait a minute. And what? And the next Sabbath day. So that means the previous Sabbath day they was keeping the Sabbath. If, you know what I'm saying? If it's the next, that means it was a previous. Right. Come on. Came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. There you go. To hear the what? Hear the word of God. On the Sabbath day. Now, where we going? Acts 16. Acts 16 and verse 13. 13. Yes, sir. This is the book of Acts, chapter 16 and verse 13. And on the Sabbath. On the what? And on the Sabbath. Come on. We went out of the city by the riverside, where prayer was wont to be made. Mm -hmm. And we sat down and spake unto the woman, which resorted thither. Come on. At verse 14. And a certain woman named Lydia. A seller of oh, that's what I want. My bad. It said and on the Sabbath day we went out of the city by the riverside. So they kept the Sabbath. Now let's keep going because, like I said, we know your time is precious. That's why we're trying to make this quick. Ten scriptures. That's all we're trying to give you. Ten quick scriptures. Uh, well, I'm going. Hold on, I forgot. Uh, Baruch four and one. We're gonna go to Baruch four and one real quick. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four and verse one. This is the book of the commandments of God. This whole book is what? It's the book of the commandments of God. So how this whole book going to be the commandments of God, but you don't keep them? Right. <laughs> you, don't keep the, you don't keep the Sabbath day. You don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? But you will quick say, that shall not kill. Well, that shall not kill is right around the corner from keep the Sabbath day. Right. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. <laughs> Go ahead. 
This is the book of the commandments of God. Come on. And the law that endureth forever. No, that the law is done away with. The law that endureth forever. The laws endure forever. Let's prove that. That's it. Um, all they that keep it shall come to life. Oh, I like that. All they that keep these commandments shall come to life. Now watch this. Now go to um Isaiah 66 and start at verse 22 because it said these laws endure forever. Don't you know we're going to have laws and, and commandments we got to do in the kingdom? What you just think we're going to just do what the hell we want to do? Right. <laughs> now watch this. Let's see. In the kingdom. Now start at verse 22. Yes, sir. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth. Wait a minute. New heavens, new earth that's going into the kingdom of heaven. Watch this. Come on. Which I will make. Shall remain before me, uh -huh. saith the Lord. Say who? Saith the Lord. Come on. So shall your seed and your name remain. Uh huh. And it, verse twenty three. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another. Wait a minute. That's a Sabbath. The new moon is a Sabbath. Right. Ask your pastor. This is the addition of ask your pastor. Why don't you keep these commandments? Why don't you keep the new moon? Why don't you keep the Sabbath? Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have to be keeping the the um new moon. Come on. And from one Sabbath to another. Uh oh, one Sabbath to another. Come on. Shall all flesh come to worship before me, say of the Lord. You see that right now we practicing. So, but if you ain't if you ignoring God right now, you ain't gonna even get you ain't doing this part. Right. Watch this, keep reading. Verse 24. Oh, that's it. That's we don't want to we gotta schedule right there on the next verse. We should schedule behind. Hey, now where we at? Uh uh You want Christ John 14? Yeah. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, let me get that in uh hold on. Luke 6 and 46, because most people will say, oh, my Lord and Savior, I have you know, a personal relationship with the Lord. You know, me and him good. Okay, let's see. Read. This every, everybody can call on the Lord. Right. Come on. This is the book of Luke, chapter 6 and verse 46. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Come on. Who, why ye call me, Lord, Lord, and do nothing he say? Why do you call on the Lord, Lord Jesus, 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 and do nothing he say do? Right. Now, let's see what he said to do, John 14 and 15. Yes, sir. Let's see what he said to do, John 14 and 15, and then we're going to hit you with one more scripture. Come on. This is the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me. If what? If ye love me. Let's see what? Keep my commandments. So the Lord said keep his commandments. Now, where do you think he got that from? The Father. Right. Now, let's get to the last book. Of the Bible, last excuse me, the last book and the last chapter, Revelation 22 and verse 14. Let's get it. Last verse, 22, verse 14. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Do is an action word. Do is an action word. Blessed are they that do the Sabbath day, meaning don't buy, don't sell, no cook on a Sabbath day. You understand what I'm saying? Congregate on the Sabbath day. Those are the things that you do on the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So it said, Bless our day that do the commandments. Come on. That they may have right to the tree of life. You're going to have right to the tree of life. But watch this. If you don't do these things, if you don't do the commandments, let's see what. And may enter in through the gates into the city. So when you do them, you're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Verse 15. But for without. Or dogs. Dogs. That's going into the other nations. Because we know it ain't talking about a rock wild and a pit bull. Right. But if you know the scriptures, you know a dog is going into the other nations. They're not going to be in rulership with us. They're going to be there, but they're not going to be in no rulership. They're going to be working for us. Right. You understand me? Yeah, <laughs> read. And sorcerers. No sorcerers breaking God laws. And whoremongers. Breaking God law. And murderers. Breaking God law. And idolaters. Breaking God law. And whosoever loveth. And make of a lie. Breaking God laws. So if you breaking God commandments, you ain't getting the kingdom. So this has been a quick um, edition of Ask Your Pastor from IUIC Mobile, Officer DeWada and Officer Jeremiah. Shalom, Messiah Christ bless. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Roll on.